Hi there, welcome back and thanks for tuning in to our channel. Today, we will be looking at one of the biggest news stories in the cryptocurrency space last year, which was the announcement of Flare Network Spark airdrop to XRP holders. For those of you who don't know, Ripple's XRP is a third generation cryptocurrency that aims to tackle the remittance and micropayment sector. However, things have not been moving well at all regarding its price action during the last market session. For this reason, we believe that Flare Network's Spark airdrop would help to fuel XRP in the long run. Don't worry, we'll tell you why this particular airdrop is important. Before we dive further, let's turn our focus to what Flare Network really is. So XRP is one of those cryptocurrencies that does not have smart contract capabilities. Likewise, it does not support building applications on top of it, like Ethereum, for example. This is one of the reasons why Flare Network is important to XRP. The Flare Network is a blockchain-based technology that focuses on extending the capabilities of XRP's utility by bringing it to the Ethereum network. This will be done by implementing Ethereum's virtual machine so that it can enable smart contract capabilities on the XRP network. Additionally, Flare does not rely on economic incentives to secure the network, but rather uses federated Byzantine agreements to reach consensus. More information on this consensus model can be found in their white paper. We'll leave links to that in the video's description for your reference. So you might be asking, why is Flare Network's idea so significant to Ripple's XRP utility? Well, this is because smart contracts are very important to blockchain technology, since they allow decentralized applications to be deployed, among other things. As such, Flare Network will more than likely be a positive impact on the growth and adoption of Ripple's XRP network. Now that you have an understanding of what Flare Network is, let's discuss the Flare Network airdrop and what it means for holders of XRP as well, and whether you are eligible for this airdrop or not. The Flare token was forked into creation from XRP to prevent spam on the network. It is the native token of the Flare Network and can be used with decentralized applications, which are also known as dApps. More info can be found about the use cases of Flare tokens in the white paper as well. So how does one go about receiving their tokens from this airdrop? Great question. So every XRP holder who had tokens in their wallet, like the Atomic Wallet, at the snapshot date, which was taken at December 12th, 2020, will be eligible to participate in this airdrop. That's some good news to all the XRP lovers out there. But do keep in mind that the airdrop will be distributed in phases. Users who claim Spark tokens will only receive an initial 25% of the total amount of their tokens. The remaining 75% will then be distributed over the next 24 to 36 months. There hasn't been a specific date for the airdrop yet. However, it's believed that it will be ready by the second quarter of 2021, or when the Flare Network goes live. Also, Flare tokens will be distributed at a one-to-one -one ratio with XRP. While Atomic Wallet will not natively support the Flare Network airdrop when it is ready for distribution, if you had your XRP tokens in the wallet before December 12th, you are eligible and can manually claim your tokens. There's nothing else left for you to do after claiming your tokens until Flare Network announces the airdrop distribution date. So at this point, you will need to undergo these steps to claim your Flare tokens and wait until they are ready for distribution. The first step that you will need to undergo is to download the SUM wallet on your mobile device and set your password. You will then need to import your XRP private key from Atomic to SUM wallet by choosing the family seed as the secret type of your account. Going forward, to claim your Spark tokens, you will have to use a web tool, which can be found in the article as well. Before you proceed, you will need to read and sign the disclaimer, warnings, and acknowledgements. On a different note, you should be mindful that you are using these tools at your own risk, and they are not affiliated with Atomic Wallet. Once that is done, you will be offered the option to generate a new ETH address, if necessary. However, you can skip this step, since you already have an ETH compatible account from your Atomic Wallet. Okay, so as an XRP holder, you will then need to sign a reference to prove that you own your account, after which you will need to provide your ETH compatible account address, or your ETH public key from Atomic. Now, let's move on and confirm our account ownership by signing the transaction with some wallet. Well done ladies and gents, now you just need to wait to receive your Spark tokens. As soon as the Flare Network is launched, the team will check all the XRP Ledger accounts connected with the Flare Ledger accounts and their balances to distribute the tokens. Remember, you can use our wallet across multiple platforms, including mobile, PC, Mac, and Linux. So feel free to visit our website at atomicwallet.io and proceed to the download page. 
and of course, all the links will be left in the description for you to use. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here soon.